Well, it used to be easy to remember the things in America that were racist. They were obvious things, burning crosses, wearing white robes, swastikas. You get the point. Now, almost every day, something new is being declared racist by whoever decides what's racist. Betsy Ross is now racist. The national, national anthem is racist. And now, as of this week, one of America's first flags, the Gazden flag, the one that reads, Don't Tread on Me. It's been a pro-liberty symbol for almost 250 years. But when actor Chris Pratt wore a shirt with the flag, Yahoo, which is a sort of news organization, ran an article suggesting the shirt choice reflected, quote, white supremacy. Dean Cain is an actor and the star of the recent film Gosnell. We just spoke to him about this. Here's what he said. What is going on here? Oh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Tucker. I, I am stunned. I don't know. I mean, it, it's shocking to me. I, I'm wearing a shirt right now. Oh, my gosh. It says coffee or die. But it's the join or die back in the old days, the Benjamin Franklin uh, political cartoon from back in the day. There's nothing yes. in the world racist about the Gadsden flag. Nothing at all. I mean, that, that flag symbolizes liberty and independence. And I think part of the reason they go after Chris Pratt for that is because Chris Pratt is a big supporter of our military. He's played Navy SEALs and things of that nature. He's, uh, he was there for the MRF challenge. He's done, I've seen him do a lot of things for our troops. They like him. They respect him. And a lot of our troops like that flag as well. It, so it's nothing but independence and freedom. And I can't see a thing about it that's racist or white supremacy or anything of that nature. Maybe it's because they think he's conservative and they want to attack him. So uh, that, I'm sure, well, that was, that's true. But I, I sense a pattern here. So our earliest flags, our national anthem, our statues, our history itself, what they're really arguing is that America as a country is illegitimate. Yeah, unfortunately, that is what they are arguing. And listen, we did not have a perfect beginning. No country has. Right. Um, we are in order to, you know, we're striving for a more perfect union, meaning that we were never perfect to begin with. We'll never be perfect. We'll continually try and make it better and better. But just because of those things happened in the past, we are we are forged from that history. Uh, you know, those things shouldn't be taken down. They shouldn't be poo-pooed, and, and people can't co-opt them if you don't let them. You know, this flag, it, it's a big part of our, our, our heritage. So many of my friends uh, love the Gadsden flag, and they, they, that tr don't tread on me symbol of the rattlesnake, you know, who is eternally vigilant yes. and, and won't, won't attack you unless provoked, was a big symbol for the United States, and it still is. And for good reason. That's exactly right. So, but it's easy for you and me to say that. I mean, I, I give my opinions for a living. You're completely out of the closet. People know what your views are. You've taken your lumps already. <laughs> but for people like Chris Pratt, who are not explicitly political, this is dangerous, isn't it, to be called names? It, it very well could be. And fortunately for me, I'm old enough to feel like, you know what, it doesn't matter to me. I'll, I'll voice my opinion. Right. I don't, you know, I'm not racist in any way, shape, or form. I'm not even completely white. Not. But I've been called a white supremacist. I've been called a Nazi. <laughs> you know, Godwin's law. I've been called all of those things. You know, uh, it's uh -huh. it's craziness. But but and people are doing that. And people like Chris Pratt, who listen, the guy's a major movie star. I think he's a fantastic actor. He's very funny. But it could be dangerous for a guy like that. Absolutely. And and yeah. and that's that's not okay. It's not okay at all. Dean Kane, a brave man. Great to see you, as always. Thank you for coming on tonight. Tucker, happy to. Thank you, sir.